teams that advanced her, who were you least convinced by in the quarterfinals? Club America. <laughs> and, and let me tell you why. Let not me tell surprising you. at all with your hate-filled ways. It's not hate-filled ways. I mean, look at this. Can you look at this beautiful pass by Igor Lishnovsky? Uh, by the Gee, way, they God. told me El Trisecta, the podcast, is still scheduled as promised. Maybe they'll break down this play. Maybe that maybe Igor can break down exactly yeah, what the yeah. he was thinking here. Look at this type of play, and I can't tell you like how I could say any other team besides America because of this. I had mm. warned you about Papachuca. I had warned you about the... Ah, Papachuca, Papachuca Casa. No. Don't tell me about Papachuca no. anymore. They're eliminated. Oh, t- 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 tell me when they beat Pachuca in All four right. games. We advanced. We advanced. We beat them in the regular season, baby, in yeah. the table. That's where we beat them. You didn't beat them in the regular season. You lost no, that game, too. We beat them in the table. Yeah, we'll that's, where the you, table. that's where America usually beats them, in the table. Ah, you see, are yes, right. That's what matters. You are right. Now, now, this is why, to me, they look the worst. Mm. To be quite honest, if I look at this Ligia, I could pinpoint a moment where things got bad for every single team. Maybe mm. it was one game, like for Cruz Azul, and I think that's why I picked Cruz Azul as they looked the best. They only got bad for, for a, a minute, a minute, uh, for a half, okay? Uh, but America over two legs struggled. Rayado struggled over two legs as well. Um, Chivas as well. But when it comes to Club America, they're playing against a team that has just been hammered, decimated by games. They've played in 21 days, six games. That's a game every three days. And to not be able to close them out away at home when these guys were decimated by fatigue and in the manner in which they advanced, and when I mean advances, look at the polemic plays in this game. Now, people are going to say, so what? America dominated. No, it's not so what. There are two plays in this game that are clear red cards. And if you justly, if you justly eject one, if not both of those players, you're playing with 10, if not nine players. Of course, this game changes. Let's relitigate the game. Let's okay. relitigate the game. We'll go through all the Pachuca tackles as well. The go through all of them, Seb. Go through all of them, Seb. You okay. cannot. Listen, okay. listen. Let me talk. Let me talk. You- I am not about the narrative that, that America is bad. Televisa is bad. They bought out the refs. This whole narrative that's been built up and propped up for decades. I am not about those conspiracy theories. But this feeds into those conspiracy theories. If you're telling me Jonah Dos Santos' tackle, if you're telling me Diego Valdez' elbow to the face of an opponent, if those aren't clear reds, if you're telling me I don't feel they're reds, is that what you're telling me? That is one thing. But this, this clearly impacted the game, clearly impacted the outcome. And it's a shame because if a team, if there's one team that doesn't need this type of help, and I say it in the most loosest of terms, it's Club America because they were clearly the best team this year in their play. This feeds into that narrative, and mm. this game, the referees got it wrong. Okay, so the referees are like Club America is into the semifinals. I think we could probably say the same for the team that I thought looked the worst. No, 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 no. Do you think that's the reason? No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't go. Do you think that's yes. the reason? Yes. That Alexis Vega goes no, stands. No, Club America the is, is are, are the referees the reason Club America advanced? No. No, not at all. Are they red cards? The regular season table is the Are reason. Are they that red cards, advanced. Seb? Say it again. Are they red cards? Jonas I Santos. I think I think the Jonas definitely a red card. The Diego Valdez I've seen not go that way. But Pachuca could have had a red card as well. You're not talking about that, no? What? Which one? Diosa. No, no, Seb. No, no, Seb. It's subjective, and that's it's the beauty of it. It's not subjective. Well, it was subjective to... You know who was subjective to her? People who are way better trained to be referees than you. I don't know about that because the operating system wasn't working. The system for VAR oh, wasn't working. The eyes right there weren't working? Well, obviously not. Go ahead. Go to your rant about Chivas. No, I, listen. America didn't play well, so I'm not going to sit here and say that they did. But I just really wasn't impressed with Chivas. Um, one goal in the two games. Got to give him credit for the defense. Two clean sheets in Ligia is, is nothing to be... Nothing to be sneezed at, but if the goal from Alexis Vega stands, and it should have, because the last touch is you're seeing it right there. That's, is from not, how the rule, that's not how the rule the applies. Last it's not the last touch. Right there, right there, plays him in on side. That goal stands, and Chivas is going home. Could you have imagined that the, at the ex, at, on the goal of Alexis Vega, what a storyline that would have been? Savvy, that was their correct uh, call. And, and, and what did, what did Toluca play what? The last... 35 minutes of this game with 10 men? Is that right? Yes. And Chivas? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Seb, Seb, you're saying the team that looked the worst 
is the team that's the hottest team right now in Liga Mekis that's undefeated in their we're last the nine competitive we're games. A, we're not talking about a run in at the end of the Liga Mekis regular season when nobody's trying and they're playing for teams. That's all we're Sepp. talking about. We're talking undefeated about in their last game. Where they got outshot in both games against Toluca. Okay, how many goals? How many goals did the most offensive team in Liga Mekis score against Chivas in two legs? Zero. Nine games undefeated, six wins. Zero goals against mm-hmm. against the highest scoring team in the league. Who, who am I noticing? Am Chivas? I sensing? Am Chivas? I sensing fear from you? No, you're, no. This is the matchup I love. Are you kidding me? I'd much rather play Chivas than Toluca. Who do I fear on Chivas? Who do I fear? Oh, it's Chicharito. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. It's a, you want to talk about journeyman forwards? Is that is that who I fear? Who? Chicharito's a journeyman forward? Shots? Chicharito's a journeyman Ricardo, forward? Ricardo Marín, that's who's the starter. Chicharito's buried on the bench, bro. Chivas is better without him. Okay. Okay. I, do I sense a bet coming on? Oh, yeah. Let's do it, baby. What's the bet? You're, you're What's the bet? Owe me, you already owe me two if you want. No, no, no. I only owe you one. I paid you the Husky <laughs> you the other time. Me. Did you pay it to me? You're right. You did. Yeah, you, you did. did. You, did. On air, you did. You did. You did. Apologies. All right. He's sneaky. Sneaky. All right, so what's about another Hunsky? Yeah. America advances, Chivas advance. Boom. Uh, Producer Beto is a testigo aquí.